Hello and welcome to Concrete Preservation Technologies. I'm here with Christian Stone. Christian has been doing research on RAC for four and a half years, both as part of the Loughborough Union Research Project and looking at corrosion in RAC for the NHS. We're here to address some common misconceptions. Hello, Warren. So, first question, is RAC inherently dangerous? No, RAC is not inherently dangerous. However, it does have some problems. First of all, it's a composite material, so you have a weak aerated concrete and you have a steel cage. Though the AAC, the aerated concrete, is quite weak, it's only one-tenth the strength of regular concrete, it's very lightweight, so it's not having to hold up much. The steel cage, however, is not always sitting where you want it to be. The manufacturing quality of this material was not as high as we'd hoped today. It was made in the 1960s, after all. And we find that the bearings it's situated on, which is the wall, the end of the plank sits on, is not always as wide as we'd expect today. It did follow the building standards of the time, but sadly, those have changed. So if the steel is in the wrong position, you could have a problem. Also, if moisture gets in, as always, rust can be an issue. This aerated concrete acts like a sponge and can hold up to half its own weight in water. And if that can sit there around your vulnerable steel, rust can start being an issue. And that can cause cracking and concrete lumps to spall off. Why did they build using this material? In many ways, it was a great material of the time. It's thermally insulating, it's lightweight, and you get it in large, regular blocks. So this can be built very, very quickly. As it's quite lightweight as well, it's very easy to handle, and just a pretty good material, really, for the time. So I can see why they chose it. And for prefabricated structures, post-war building, it was commonly used. So does all rack need to be demolished? Not at all. A lot of rack needs to be lived with. There's a lot of rack in the UK. We're talking hundreds of thousands of panels here. And a lot of this is fine. A lot of this just needs a little bit of remediation. And some of it can be fail-safed. There will be areas where some will need to be taken down for safety reasons. But much of this has been sitting there for 50, 60 years and has not had any failures in that time. In fact, in the whole time, we've only really had a handful of failures. So much of this can be lived with. There are other safety concerns. For example, does RAC contain asbestos? No. RAC contains no asbestos whatsoever. However, it is a product of the 60s and 70s. So therefore, the paints, the plasterboard, any fixtures and fittings around it from that time may contain asbestos. Structural engineers who are worried about failure can take into account the disturbance of asbestos as part of their review. Is it just in schools and hospitals? By no means. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of these elements were produced. And this is going to be found in a lot of post-war reconstruction. You are going to find it in warehouses, factories, office buildings, police stations, theatres. This is going to be found far and wide throughout the UK, everywhere from the Ministry of Defence to private enterprise. So far, people haven't been looking for it. But now, hopefully it will start to become uncovered and it can be surveyed and we can help keep it safe. Is this easy to fix? So, rack can be remediated. If there's corrosion, corrosion management solutions can be applied. A structural engineer should be able to help with any remediation works where it comes to structural support or fail-safing. However, more research is needed to be able to find out the most cost-effective, easiest to implement, and lowest carbon solution. At CPT, we can help with the corrosion side. We are corrosion specialists and make a series of anodes called Rack Guard, specially made for rack products. If you like this and you want to hear more about these questions, in the link below is our blog post with an expanded version of all these questions. If you want to find more about us at CPT, check out our website, cp-tech.co.uk. And if you have any questions or have any interests, comment below and we'll get back in touch.